What up guys, Arthur for here bringing a tutorial on Minecraft. This is a tutorial on how to actually transfer your single player world into a multiplayer. So if you have a bucket to run a standard Minecraft server, this is a tutorial for you and Ash. And I'm actually using the bucket server. If you guys want to install the bucket server, because it's great, trust me, it has so many plugins and you don't got to worry about them. If you guys do want that, I'll put an annotation on the video and just feel free to click on it and it'll actually take you to a new tab so don't worry it won't exit out this video. So when you're done just go ahead and click back to this video. So let's get this started. So let's say uh, you have a uh, world that you have created. I recreated the world, it's called YouTube for the simple purposes because it's going on YouTube. So let's say, um, let's just go in the world, you say uh, you just created an epic structure and you want to show it off to your friends or you want to do some major editing with the voxel sniper uh, so you want to do that right um, first of all you just all you gotta do is just have the world in your uh, minecraft save folder so let's just go ahead and save and quit and we're gonna go locate it so it's called youtube yours will obviously uh, be something else whatever you called your world so let's go ahead and exit out uh, the Minecraft we, because we're on Mac uh, it's usually f the Minecraft folder is usually found in the finder then you're gonna go and head up uh, look up library and then application support and now you're gonna go look for M's and you're gonna see here it is Minecraft once you have done that go ahead and click on saves and here it is my world that we're actually gonna transfer is called YouTube like yours but yours is gonna be something else right so uh, ours is going to be YouTube so go ahead and drag that to your desktop once you have done that go ahead and open your server one and this is like the bucket server like I said again so just go ahead and drag it anywhere into the folder once you have done that go ahead and uh, open up properties server properties go ahead and right click and go ahead and open with text edit this is a default one if you guys, if you guys do have this one, it's a uh, works perfect. Don't worry about uh, about it. If you guys don't, just go ahead and download it off Google or something. Go look it up. It's called Text Edit. I'm sure you guys do have it. So once you have done that, you're gonna see something called Level Name. Here, let me just help you guys look at everything here. So here it is. It says Level Name, and it says Equal World World. So we're gonna go ahead and delete where it says world or anything that's yours but now we're gonna type in YouTube because uh, that's the world we transferred and that's the name of the world yours would probably be like epic seed or something like that something that you named yours so once you have done that go ahead and double check that you spelled everything correctly and go ahead and exit out and you're gonna go ahead and hit, hit save once you have done that this will automatically just close so you're almost done. You're just gonna have to go and double click on the, uh, I guess, server starter, and just wait and ev just wait for everything just to uh, log in and all that stuff. And you're gonna see this whole process gonna start all over again. Like if you're gonna create your own new server, it's because uh, it's obviously generating the new world because you actually installed the new world. <laughs> Simple as that sounds. So let's go ahead and log into Minecraft while this is loading. So we're just gonna go into multiplayer, and if everything works out great, we're gonna go into our world. And yours, like I said, obviously is gonna be different because it's your world. So we're gonna go on multiplayer, and if you guys haven't connected your world, uh, actual server, I mean, uh, go ahead and connect and just click add server. Once you have done that, go ahead and double click on uh, the server. Once you have done that, just log it in. Come on. Why is it taking forever? Alrighty, there it is. So, what do you know? We actually, we actually transferred our single player world into the multiplayer world. So like I said, you can use awesome uh, editing tools like the Voxel Sniper or any other plugins that you want or just show it off to your friends on your server. That's basically it guys. Uh, it's a very simple uh, way uh, to actually do this. And also if you guys do want to uh, transfer uh, your uh, multiplayer world into single player world into the single player uh, 
it's just vice versa if you guys get lost just feel free to comment below or if you guys want me to t make a tutorial on that it's pretty simple if you guys get lost just tell me in the comments below or message me so once you have done playing make sure you go on the terminal and hit stop this is very important because if you don't this all this will not be saved so go ahead hit stop and once it says process complete go ahead and exit out the terminal and go ahead and exit out minecraft and this double make sure that everything worked out properly so go ahead and click on your server folder and what do you know it's called YouTube nether YouTube the end and YouTube the main world so now you can go to the nether the end and all that stuff so this worked out properly if you guys have any any troubleshoots feel free to message me or comment so that's basically it guys and also if you guys uh, want the other tutorial on how to actual transfer your multiplayer into single player feel free to comment saying below that if you guys have any troubles like I said feel free to comment so I hope you guys do enjoy this video guys I'm out peace